All right, guys. Today we are going to be unboxing the Tau Riptide Battle Suit, which is in a pretty darn big box. Obviously, the model's ridiculously big. There's all the different languages for you. Really, nothing. Nothing too special on the box. It's all just one color scheme on here. Pretty cool artwork. By artwork, I mean pictures of a painted bottle. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. Now, here's the list of colors, by the way, if you are interested. Okay, inside this here thing, we've got a few things. We'll go through them one at a time. We have the 3D rendered instructions, we have sprue one. Of sprue 2. Giant base of destruction. It's the same size as like a Dread Knight or a Trigon. We have one floaty base, two floaty base, one, two, three, four, four small pegs, and one large peg, presumably for the shield missile drone or something like that. And uh, set of tau decals. So go ahead and go through these here. All right, here are the decals. There's some pretty cool ones, like these arc ones would actually be pretty hard to paint. Uh, these barcode looking ones too. Okay, let's let's go on to the uh, instructions here. 3D rendered instructions, um, pretty typical for anything in the last few years. Let's see, it's actually a pretty thick book. There, there's no page numbers, but there are 26 steps, which is pretty ridiculous. A lot of uh, gluing halves of things together. You can see the first few steps is really just gluing all these tiny little segments together. And then you finally start, you know, getting something that looks like a riptide. I haven't actually built one of these yet. So I'm assuming everything is right. So I haven't heard any complaints yet. Um, you know, so I haven't heard of anything that doesn't actually go on the way it's supposed to. I mean, the model doesn't really look like it goes together really tight, like a drop pod or something like that. Um, like, that's probably the most complicated step, and that doesn't even look bad at all, so. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead right on to the sprues. Alrighty. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get some more light over here. I'm going to call this sprue one, even though it was sprue two a second ago. Now, I'm sure it is going to be impossible to tell what a lot of these things are in the final product. Um, but I'm pretty sure this here is the hand, weird hand thing, fist. These are the actual kind of like jet packs that go on either side of it. That's just two halves of one of them. Some really cool antennas and stuff, which, you know, if you don't really need them on the Riptide, you can put them on Fire Warriors and I'm sure they'd look boss. More of the, you know, two sides of a hand right here. This is the, uh, the shield along with some of these fins that you'll see around here, which are pretty great. I mean, he's got a two plus armor save, five plus invulnerable with the shield. If you choose to overcharge the shield instead of your gun or something like that, then you get a three plus invuln. It's pretty snazzy. So there's the, uh, Makes up the large burst cannon, the heavy burst cannon. You get doubles of everything weapon wise, so whatever you don't use, you can mod out your crisis suits to look awesome. Um, this double plasma rifle, that's the ion accelerator right here. Double meltas. There's like the other part of your ion accelerator. So you can actually make both guns the heavy burst cannon 
and the ion accelerator 100% separate of each other. They don't use any of the same parts to make the gun itself, which is really great. So you can actually make both of them switch them out pretty easily, or just, you know, put one of them on a hammerhead because it would look cool. Alrighty. It's the top of a shield missile drone right here. Uh, one of the cool things about that, it looks a little bit weird because it literally just stacks a missile pod and a shield generator under it, but the top of it, if you can tell, is actually raised. So this actually has like three layers of height on it, so it looks a lot more durable. All sorts of missiles. More antennas, main part of the body here. Um, I believe this part makes up uh, something that goes over to uh, connect to the uh, to the jetpack. Another shield missile drone. Some really sweet armored segments here. There are a lot of pieces to these missiles. I'm thinking these, yeah, these here are the legs. I mean, for the most part, as far as weapons go on this, while you guys are taking a look, there's a foot there. Most people are going to be running the Ionic, Ion Accelerator, um, just because it's three shots, strike seven AP2, which is pretty nice. Let's flip this over. Um, the heavy burst cannon, I mean, it's only really good if you overcharge it, because um, then it's like, I think, 12 shots or something. But that's really only really great if you're trying to take down flyers and you have Skyfire and everything, otherwise you'll, you'll probably just be better off um, taking the Ion Accelerator and hoping for the best. Because if you overcharge the Ion Accelerator, there's really not much, all the, all the boxes those are just empty. If you overcharge the Ion Accelerator, you get a Strength 8 AP2 Large Blast, which is, actually that's just if you just fire, it gets hot. If you overcharge, it's Strength 9, so the Ion Accelerator is by far a much more versatile weapon. It, it is better, pretty much, period. So you'll be seeing a lot more of this thing, which is a shame, because I'd love to see more of these on hammerheads. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Beware the Riptides. And we'll, uh, we'll, we'll have a put together one here for you in just a second. All right, so for anyone looking for a size comparison here, this is the lowly, tiny, tiny little dreadnought next to a dreadnought. You it's really extra quite big. And this is the Riptide, this is the finished Riptide here. So, still, still a good, you know, inch, inch and a half taller. 